Good morning. Well, first, uh, I think Coach Duvalli gave us a great clinic about uh, what pick and roll offense is and how to read situations, be able to attack different options, different defensive options. And so I think it was great to listen to him and great to, to learn something on a part of the part of basketball that it became, it became in the last years probably one of the most important ones. Like we've been talking, uh, a lot of offenses now start with a pick and roll. Before on time, maybe pick and roll was the last option on an offense. Now a lot of offenses start with a middle pick and roll or a side pick and roll or whatever. And it's very important when you make your defensive strategy out of the game, you always have to, there is not a lot of teams that they don't use pick and roll. So on your defensive strategy, it's almost mandatory that you define what you want, how do you want to defend the pick and roll, okay? For me, there is very important, very important, define the areas where the, where the pick and roll is it's made. Okay, Coach Dubari was talking about side pick and roll, side pick and roll, and middle pick and roll. What I think it was great, because when you make your strategy, you have to somehow read where the pick and roll is made. Maybe you cannot play the same kind of defense on the side that you can play on the middle. I think it's something that we all agree. When somebody's playing offense from here, he has, he has two, I mean, the floor is very open, and he can see most options. When he was playing the pick and roll, they were, he, was get, he, he was working with a pass to the side, a continuation, he was working with a pass to the side, so he got two options. When the pick and roll is made here, of course, we all understand that here you can't play, okay? So for me, it's very important to define this. Where are we, where the, the pick and roll it's gonna be at, okay? Of course, coaches, let's say most of us, we're not that stupid. So we play the pick and roll, we play the horns. Where your strategy, is right in the middle. Two, two guys picking, uh, Jason and Thomas. Come on. See. No, no, no. Without the ball. We were talking, the first thing that I'm saying, I'm, okay, we divide the pick and roll on one side, we divide the pick and roll on the middle, and right now, the play that we most see in basketball is this. Normal. We're talking about, okay, on the side, we're going to keep the, the guys on the side, or we're going to double, or we're going to edge, or we'll talk about that later. But the thing is always the pick and roll is going to try to find you your weaknesses, okay? When Coach DeVarri was saying about here getting double, he was putting the option of get the ball to the other side and get the continuation, okay? So just with this little example, what I, want, what I mean is that always offense is going to try to look for your defensive weakness, okay? For your defensive weakness. And as a defensive strategy, you always have to think on the limits. Keep the people on, on the limits that you can control the offense. Okay, that's why maybe in the last uh, five years, almost every team has this play. Because somehow is what is more difficult to defend. Okay, let's say two defenders here, uh, white defenders, you, you, and somebody with the ball here. When you play a pick and roll, this, on, right in here, whatever he does after the pick and roll, forget about this defense now. If he doubles, he's going to go, 
and then we have to create a rotation. We all agree in this, no? Let's say he goes down, and then he recovers somehow, okay? So what I mean is, you sit down. What I mean is very important that we understand the three parts where the, sit down, where the pick and roll is made. Okay? Good. We're going we're gonna to be talking more about the side pick and roll. Side pick and roll. Okay? Why? Because probably in a lot of offenses where it's the middle pick and roll is used at the end of possession a lot of times. But the side pick and roll is made more at the beginning. Why? Because usually offense wants to get the ball from one side to another. We always hear about coaches say, no, we need to move the ball to, from one side to another. Move the defense. Move the defense. If you play a middle pick and roll at the beginning of, 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 of your offense, probably with that middle pick and roll, you're, you're not going to get everybody involved. But if you get it on the side and you're able to get the ball to the other side or get a penetration this way, then you're going to get everybody involved. Okay? Good. For me, there is seven different options, seven different options of how to defend the pick and roll. I will go quick through them and then we will work on them, okay? And I will put two groups of them. Four of them is try not to get the other, the other people on the team involved. Let's say, if you edge and recover, if you flash it, if you flash the guy and come back, you don't put a lot of people on rotation, okay? I need four guys, two defenders, and two offensive guys. Quick. With the ball. You're in offense. Ball. Come on. Jason, you're setting the pick. Uh, come here. You're defending Jason, and you're defending here. I don't mind that, but... Okay? Let's say if the pick and roll is, is made here. Come and set the pick and roll quick. Okay. Good. Show. Show. Come back with your men. Okay. If we stop the pick and roll with these guys, with these two guys, we're not getting everybody else involved. Okay? Just an example. Okay? So the first group out of seven, seven things, it has to be with not involve the rest of the team. Our two guys are the guys who are getting on the pick and roll. Our two guys we have to defend. Okay? So one. It will be edge and recover, flash, or however they call it. Over the top, over the top, set the pick and roll. Okay, stay back. You're defending norm. Come over the top, hard, and we'll see what happens. Next one, as a third man, okay, you're staying back. You don't get involved. You know you have to defend him. Push, go. And as a third man, okay? Nobody else is getting involved. Only, the, only them two on defense. And the last one, as a fourth man, okay? Jason, you push here, push, and go behind, okay? And go behind. On these four options, nobody else on the team can get involved. We're not going to rotate. We're not going to give long helps, these two got to make them their own. They have to do it. Okay? Of course, weak side help got to be on this part, blah, 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 blah. But right now, with these four options that we just said, these two have to stop the pick and roll. Okay? Good. Then the other two options where you really need the team, but at the same time are more aggressive, and you make everybody get involved is double team, okay? Play the pick and roll. Go, Jason, double, double, double. Stay, stay, stay. Okay, stop. 
obviously on this yo oh, ketai stop obviously on this the rest of the team has to be involved okay we got pressure on the ball a lot of pressure on the ball the ball is on the same side we cut the play let's say the let's say okay you play the pick and roll you pass it here no the guy is double but if the ball leaves of course we got a the rest of the team got to be involved okay good same thing with uh in Spain, a lot of people call him blue. Fondo. Fondo is baseline. Send him baseline. Okay, Thomas, come here. He's going to play the pick and roll. And of course, we don't want to send the ball to the other side. Okay, so what you do? You force him to the side. Okay, and wait. You want to set the pick and roll this way, but you can't because he's forcing you. Okay, no, no. First, you want to, you want that. Okay, that's offense. That another thing but first you want this no okay and you Jason you're here do it slow okay okay good okay same thing but in this situation it's very easy for the defense if you don't get anybody involved to get a step here come on Thomas open up this guy is open so on this it's a little bit like the double Stay down there. Receive the ball again. Uh, Thomas, you were coming like this. He opened up, so he's free. And here, you need the rest. Of course, you need the rest, because then he's open. OK? And the last option, and the last option is switch. OK? Come here. He's going to set the pick and roll. Boom, switch. Okay. Get him, get him, Jason. Okay. On this, let's say the, in between the middle. You don't need as much of the team, but you probably are going to need the team later because usually it's going to be a mismatch there. Okay? So let's, I will put three groups. First group, where you try to resolve the problem of the pick and roll between, the four, between you two. Uh, we talked about the edge and recover. We talked about go over the top. We talked to go, uh, go as a third man. And we said about going fourth man. Okay, push the big guy. That's the first group. Second group, where we were talking about being aggressive, try to stop the ball, try to keep him on one side hard of the, of the floor. Okay, what is double? And what is uh, side? Give the side. They keep him on the same side, okay? And the last one we said is the switch. Okay? Good. Okay, you force rest. And I need, uh, Thomas, you stay. You're on offense. I need a defender blue, you. And Thomas, you're on defense. And, uh, and another offense. Okay. We're going to start with the first group of two, okay? Let's talk about edge and recover, our first option, okay? What is the situation for edge and recover? Usually, is what a lot of coaches think is probably the best, because you're in the middle of, of everywhere. Okay, play edge and recover, okay? Good. Pick and roll, show, okay, and come back, okay? We're kind of aggressive. We show that he's not going to get advantage because we stop the ball a little bit. Then he recovers, and then he don't get away from his men. So he, re so no switch, okay? So it's a good thing. It's a good thing, a good way to defend the pick and roll. Let's see the problems of this, okay? Because we got to think... That coach the Barrett is going to try to hurt us with this, okay? So first thing, play the pick and roll. Stop. Right now, on all the situations where we're going to have the big guy here, this is mandatory, obligation, imposible defense. 
This is impossible. No, no way. So our footwork has to be ready to don't get beat this way. That's the only option that is his 100% responsibility. Because this guy is ready to do, to do something on this part. Okay? So it's very important that when he starts playing, try to beat him on the other side. Go, 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 beat him on the other side. Wait. Be smart, be smart. Play with him. Play with him. Try to beat him there. No, 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 no. Here. I'll defend. I'll play. Come. Back. Okay. I want you to send me to the pick and roll. Okay? So somehow we need him to send him to the pick and roll. Okay? Use this foot. Use this foot. Okay. You know the pick and roll is coming. Talk. Pick. Talk. Pick and roll. 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 Okay. Now you want to send him to the pick and roll because you know he's going to edge and he's going to flash. So you want him here. There is where you're going to receive the help, no? Okay. Let's go. Play it. Stop. More. 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 Pick and roll. You're defending like this. Pick and roll. Okay. Okay. Good. Advance your left foot on this side. Okay. Pick and roll. Okay. He wants to use the pick and roll. Good. Good. Stop. Okay. Very important. Use your left foot to send him to the pick. Okay. Repeat. We know the pick is coming. Talk, Thomas. I mean, talk. Okay, here. Here. Good. Next situation for him. He got him on the pick and roll. Okay, he got him on the pick and roll. And he stopped him here. Never, never this. Never this. That's why I'm telling you to put your left foot in front. Because if your tendencies go like this, then when, when he recovers, okay? So it's very important you put your left foot, he's helping you, you gotta get a step back, distance, like he said, and then you're able to defend. Okay, let's do it. And we finish with your job. Let's go, a little bit quicker, do it a couple times. Ahí, send him, go, good. Muy bien, again, do it again. Balón. Preparados, let's go, go. Do it, send it, X, come back, good. Balón, one more. Same thing. Set a good screen, set a good screen, set a good screen. Good, good, good. Okay, stop. They did a very good job on the first two. Then he set a good screen. Because when they play like this, what I'm, if I'm the offensive uh, coach, I'm going to tell them, hey, set the screen, set the screen, keep this guy here. That way, that way, when Thomas will come out and he come back, I get this step on him. Okay? So offense is going to find solutions for this. Okay? Do it one more time. One more time. Receive. Set a good screen, set a good screen. Go up, go up, go up, good. Okay. So we gotta give, what's your, what's your name? What's your name? Your name. Selko. Eh? Selko, okay. So now Selko is doing his job. We told him, don't get beat on this side, Be, go against the ball, try to go hard, but listen, this guy's hitting him. I mean, he's hitting him. He's late. Okay? What do we want on the edge? Okay? Now, I want you to go. Don't lose contact. Don't lose contact. He can't go through here. Don't lose contact. And attack the ball with this hand. Not like this. Like this. Because we want him to go out. That way, Selko will recover. But if he goes this way and you're here, that's a foul because his body's coming. Okay? So when he comes, I want you to do this. This. That way, we have space. Okay? Let's go. Good. Good, good, good. Okay. Do it again.
Good. Good job. Do it again. Attack the ball. Attack the ball. Trent. Good. 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 Stop. Uh, you don't need to go out before he got the ball, before he puts it on the floor. It's not a pick and roll if he got the ball like this. When he puts it on the floor is when you attack the ball. Okay? Don't attack it before he puts it on the floor. Let's go. Good. Go, go, go. Show it. Oh, no, 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 no. Try to get it. Try to get it. Do it. I'll play. I'll play. Try to attack the ball. Look. Do it. Let's go. Okay? Attack the ball. Forget the body. Attack the ball like this. Let's go. He has to go out. He has to go out. Good. Good. Great. Stop. Okay. I didn't say this when we start the drill. Okay? All the offenses that he has to get advantage on this side, we are okay. Because then we're going to have more people in here. Okay? Let's do it. Switch it. You guys are on defense. You're on defense. Selko, you're in offense. Okay, now white team. We're etching. We're etching. Remember, we're sending him to the pick and roll. Cut that way. Use your left foot to go over the top. When he's going out, then work with your right foot to get in front. And then you're one-on-one -on -one and you're recovering. Okay? Let's go. Wait. Go. Close to the... Good. 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 Okay? Okay? Everybody understand this? Any questions on this? Any questions on this? You got a question. Perfect. Yes. So then, you know, when you, when you tell him pick and roll, he doesn't have any idea from which side is coming. Should we tell Right him? side. Right or something? Yeah. Right. Right side. You, you, need, you need to communicate. Right side. Right side. Right side. Boom. That way he knows he's going to send him to the pick and roll. And then is when you have to do your job. Okay? Do it one more time. Let's go. Okay, change your footwork. Left, good. Left, 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 left. Okay. Okay. Sit down. Okay, guys. Any question about this, this way of, of, defending the, of defending the pick and roll? So we all agree. We all agree that if we defend the pick and roll like this, we don't get nobody else on the team involved, what is something that we want. We are not very, very aggressive because, in fact, a good player, he will see that he's getting stopped, but he won't attack because he don't got that many advantage. But we're not very aggressive because there is no way of getting a, a, a steal somehow at the pass or on the dribble. We're not very aggressive. And, in fact, the offense can do what they really want. If it's an, um, let's say you want to play a pick and roll to swing the ball to the other side. Okay, you play it like this, you wait for the guy to edge, but you're on the other side. But, but we stop the pick and roll. Okay? Good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Up, up, up this guy. All the time up. up this guy, yes. Because this guy, the problem with this, with if he goes under, then he, 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 I don't know how you say it. I he, 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 the guy to defend this guy with the ball. Did he go over the guy with the next? He goes over the guy. Over the guy. And I already said why. Because if this guy edges and he goes behind, when this, this guy is coming back, they're going to get to Maybe the Maybe you can show this again with We'll four. do it again. Same guys. Same guys. Because I don't know if everybody heard. The question was uh, over We're the screen. Do the, the, the question. We're going to show the question, okay? His question is, Salko, send them to the pick and roll. Work with your left foot. Set the pick and roll. Okay. Boom. Go. Good. I want him to go over the top. First with his left foot. That way when you hit, come back, you're able to get this space and control him one-on-one. -on -one. The problem of going 
under is that if you go under, go. When you try to go under, it's not only you're getting picked by, by him. You're getting picked by him too, who's coming back. Okay? Under, over. I want to go over, not under. What? What? Yeah. Yeah? No, no. No. I want him to come over now. Because I want the, I want him to come out. We're gonna play the same thing playing over the top. Okay? Let's say this is a good man a good way of defending a good a great three point shooter. Okay? Let's say he's a great three point shooter. He's a guy who really doesn't want to go in the lane. He really wants to get space and shoot the ball. Or receive, and after he receives, we have to be very close to him. Because let's say he came out of the baseline, exit, receive, and we got to be on him. He's a three-point shooter. Okay? So, you're close to him, and the pick and roll comes. But, we don't, we don't want to lose him. We don't want to lose him. Because if he waits on the edge here, edge, come back, there is a come back, he can shoot this because he's a shooter, okay? So I want you the same way for you to come over the top, be very aggressive, and send him inside the lane. We want him to drive, okay? We want him to drive against defense, okay? And you wait for him behind. Okay? Try to shoot the ball. Okay? When you receive it, try to shoot the ball. Okay? Start with the baseline exit. Baseline exit. He's a shooter. Okay? He cannot shoot the ball. He's a shooter. Straight shooter. Okay? Make him drive. Make him drive. Okay? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Close. 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 Good. No. Woo. Come back. Okay, first thing, no, 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 receive. His first mistake, his first mistake, he's playing him like this. Do the same thing. I want you to go inside, go inside, set the pick. I don't mind, go inside, go inside, okay? Do it again. Use your footwork. Don't defend only his shot. Use your footwork to make him go inside. Okay, he's a great shooter. Okay, he's a great shooter. Great shooter. No, he'll shoot. You get picked there, he'll shoot from here. I want him to drive. Okay, I got right now you're in the bench. Somebody else will come to defense. I'll give you one more opportunity. He got to drive. Good, good, good. Close, close. Good, good, good. Stop. Okay. The great shooter is not shooting a three. He's going inside. That's what we want. Okay? And you're staying behind. Okay, cambio. You're in offense, you're on defense. Set the screen. Oh, oh, oh. Set the screen over here. Remember, we want him to go this way. Okay? We want him to go this way. Go ahead. Get inside. Baseline exit. Baseline exit. Come on, baseline exit. Let's go, let's go. Oh, venga. Good. Shoot it. Good, 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 good. Perfect. He didn't shoot the ball. We're forcing him to go inside. He's a great spot up shooter. He's Basile. Basile is going to come out like this. He's going to receive the ball and he's going to go like this. Boom, shoot it. No, we want Basile to come here. Okay? One more time. Trail him hard. Don't let him shoot the ball. Shoot it. Shoot it if you can. Good. Good. Okay. One again. Come on. He can't shoot the ball. Again. Baseline exit. Put your hands up. Use your footwork. Make him go inside. Make him go inside. Bad pass. My fault. Again. Receive. Ooh, go. Go, 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 go. 
Let's go. Hard. Good, 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 good. Get on him. Get on him. Get on him. Great. He's shooting on the rush. Okay? Sit down. Good job. Okay. So this second way is very effective. Very effective when? when we have somebody outside who really is a good shooter because like yesterday we said the players they need information and we cannot give him a lot of information so he got a great shooter he gotta know that we're defending edge and we're defending this way so he's on him he's sending him to the middle he's forcing him to drive inside but he's not letting him shoot the ball okay on this, on this way of defense, of, of defense, we don't want the four guy, the big guy, to go out. Why? Because we're, we're bringing the guy inside to him. Okay? So it's a stupid that we, that we bring him out. He's here waiting. And they have to do it between them. Okay? Good. The first four guys. Uh, one ball, one ball, okay. Let's talk about going out as, as a third man, okay? Uh, Jason, defend the key, you're an offense, pick and roll, he, you're going as a third man, okay? Good. We set a pick and roll, receive, I pass you, play the pick and roll, after the pass. Third, you leave space, no, 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 no. you leave space, okay? Wait, 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 wait. Let's go. Ready? Vamos, Jason. He's going behind. He's going behind. Go. Vamos, Jason. Vamos, Jason. Good. As a third man. Stop! Pick, pick. Third man. One, two, three. As a third man, okay? Stop! Jason is doing a great job first. That we forgot. He's sending him to the pick and roll. They want to play the pick and roll. Okay, you want to play the pick and roll. Because the worst thing is getting beat this way. Remember, we don't want to get beat this way, okay? Do it again. Yeah. Good, good, good. Okay. Do it again. Same thing. Okay, good. One more time. One more time. Vamos, Jason. Good. One more time. One more time. Good. Good. One more time. Let's go. One more time. Venga. Set a good screen. Set a good screen. Good. Good. Okay. Great. Good job. Wait a second. Okay, this is good defense against somebody who really don't want to shoot the ball. There is a lot of players who want to use the pick and roll either to pass or to penetrate. But we keep some, we keep some of the same rules for him. Okay, he's coming out. First rule, he's sending him to the pick and roll. Okay, we don't want to play like this because if we play flat like this, then we're going to get picked anyway. Anyway, we're going to get picked, okay? We want to put our, our footwork, our left footwork, a little bit in front, okay? That way, we know he wants to go that way. We want him to go that way. We know it. On the other side, would be the right foot, okay? Just think about this. And another thing that is important for him to do is when he starts, it's important to push him a little bit and come out, okay? Do it again, Jason. Same thing, okay? Try to penetrate now. Good, good, perfect. Repeat again. Try to penetrate. Vamos, Jason. Vamos, Jason. Ahí, ahí, ahí. Good. Okay? His solution is he has to shoot the ball. Okay? And he's doing a good job picking because he, 
the repick is being good and he's getting his pace. Okay, do it again. Tw uh, switch. Receive, 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 good. Send him to the pick and roll, push, good. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. We're talking about don't get involved. Uh, we're talking about don't involve more people. We want to stop this player. We want to force him to do something that he don't want to do. Okay? As a defensive strategy, if you do, wait, if you do this all the time, you're going to get shots. That's for sure. Because guys read this, and I mean, you're giving this shot. Okay? We all understand this. Question. I can't hear you. Usually. Okay, same way. Play the, uh, play the pick and roll. Can you repeat the question, Pablo? Oh, stop, stop, stop. He's asking that usually after this action, what the offense usually do is repick. Try to get, get him on the pick, okay? So we try, we try to do the same thing. Please. Go as a third. Re good. Stop. Keep the ball alive and then use the repeat. Okay? Start from here. Keep, do like this. Keep the ball alive and use the repeat on the other side. Juega ya. Play. Okay. Go behind. Okay. Go. Stop. No, 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 no. You're staying behind. It's his problem. Go. No, 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 no. If you go like this, I don't want this guy to, to play. I want him to shoot the ball. Okay? Do it again. Ahí, ahí, okay. If he, if he shoots the ball, is what we want. There is point guards a lot of times, point guards who really want to penetrate. They want to get a penetration out of this to create game to create extra pass, to create a triangle with the corner. We don't want this. We want him to shoot the ball. OK? OK, switch him, the other four guys in. As a fourth man, as a fourth man, OK? What does it mean? You push him, and you go behind all as a fourth man, OK? Same thing, you want him on the pick, you want you go behind, try to recover him here, okay? Do it. Push him, good. Do it again. Good, good, good. Stop, 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 stop. Keep playing, keep playing. Do it again. Let's go. Work. Push, push, go behind. Okay, go behind again, push. Okay. Good. Do it again, try to defense. If he shoots the ball, he shoots. Stop the penetration. Let's go. Oh, power. stop, stop, stop. You're defending. First, you're defending. Right there. Go. Push. Push and go behind. Push and go behind. Behind. Good. Come out. Stop. You're defending. Now, go. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Repeat again. Good. Good. Do it again. Good. Stop. Okay? What is good on this kind of defense? What is good on this kind of defense? We're thinking that probably the best thing is we cut his penetration. We let, we let him shoot like he passes the third man. But I'm not that agree on that. Why? I play in offense. Defend the same way. Play. Close. Again. Close. Behind. Good. Stop. We're giving the defense a lot of distance. I mean, the offense a lot of distance. It's hard for him. I was telling him, go up. But he's going through two men. So he's a lot of space to cover to go behind. And in this moment, when he's recovering, I have this space to attack him. 
So it's not very easy for defense. It's not easy for defense. Go behind as a fourth man and control this guy penetration on speed. Okay? Because let's do it again. Okay, he's close. Okay, good. He's close, but here I'm I'm on speed. I get enough space to get speed and it's hard for him to control him. Okay? You guys understand what I mean with the guy who's defending outside? What is good thing about this kind of defense? This guy, he's in control. You control him. Okay? You push him, stay close to him. Okay. Try to pass him. Yes. Play the pick and roll and try to get him. Try to score. Play the pick and roll, you try to score. Okay? Stop! That guy can't receive. That guy can't receive. The good thing about this defense that a lot of people think, well, they're doing that because he, don't, he doesn't shoot the ball. I don't think it's that effective with that. I would prefer to go as a third if he's not a shooter than as a fourth. Because as a fourth, supposedly he's going to be a good penetrator. The good thing about this defense is this guy is not going to play. This guy is not going to play. No way. No way. Who is the worst defender here? Thank you, I knew it. <laughs> you defend him. You, you're an offense. Push him. And stay close to him all the time. Play. No, 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 blue in, blue in defense. Uh, Alex, push him close to him all the time. Ball, play. Okay, we got our worst defender. Our worst defender. Okay, good. But he won't score. Okay, we want to keep the ball outside of his hands. We don't want the guy who's setting the pick and roll or the pick and open up, pick and pop. We want him not to play. Okay? But we're having the risk of this guy is getting a lot of space. Okay? Sit down. Okay. So I think these four manners of defending the pick and roll are the one are the ones that we're trying not to involve the rest of the people of the of the team. We're trying to defend the pick and roll between the two guys involved on the pick and roll. Okay? Details, very important. In all these ways of defending it, we always want the guy to go to the pick and roll. Why not? Why not? Maybe we want them to play the pick and roll. We want them to play the pick and roll. Let's see if they can get something out of pick and roll. Sometimes we're very afraid or too afraid of pick and roll. Why? It's even worse if you're getting a guy that's laid on a, on a baseline pick and he's shooting. It's another up, it's another action of basketball. Okay? So a lot of times pick and roll, it doesn't have to be they're killing us with the pick and roll. Maybe only two guys involved, you can solve the problem. Okay? Okay, so as we remind the four things that we try to do involve anybody else. Edge and recover. We talk about little details, send them to the pick and roll, be able to get close to your man, push him to go out, the guy who's defending, who's showing, attack the ball, trying to send him out, not to try to steal the ball or keep him on the side because that way you're getting to his body. Just go like this, make him go out. It's a good manner of defender not getting the other team involved. It's a good defensive concept for let's say for a year, if you always play like that and you do it good because you don't have to worry about rotations. I don't know if the most effective. You don't have a lot of risks, but at the same time, it's not a good way to create, to change the rhythm of the offense, okay? Over the top, clear the example of a great shooter that we need him to dribble the ball to go inside. 
a lot of... Uh, what's your, what's, where's his friend? Bidenov. How would you defend Bidenov? I would prefer Bidenov. Go inside. I said about Basile, you probably in all countries have a players who are very good, spot up shooters, or running out of picks, shooters running out of picks. Okay, you got to be on him. You got to tell your player, Air, forget about everything else. You are on him, make him drive, make him drive, make him drive. Okay, so you have to force him to go inside. We did, we, the next one was go as a third man. Good to stop a guy who's not a shooter. You are only one behind, one guy in behind. You can control penetrations on both sides. You really are letting him shoot the ball. Okay? And the last one, maybe a little bit of combine of, of, of the third one, but with the difference that we're really in control of the guy who's setting the pick. Because, because when you defend the pick and roll, a lot of times you're thinking about what do we create out of the pick and roll with the guy with the ball. But the problem is not the guy with the ball. The guy is the guy. Who, the problem is the guy who's rolling. He's the one who is creating space. Let's say he's a great pop-up player. Pick, open up, and he's good in this. And you cannot give him his this distance. Clear example of that is Garbajosa. Garbajosa is great on that. Nowitzki. If you let Nowitzki set the screen, and his man is helping a little bit, he's going to go like this, and then. He will be great on this or this. You want to get this man, don't receive the ball. Don't get advantage. Make him work one-on-one. -on -one. Don't get advantage of the motion of the offense with the pick and roll. Okay? Good. Uh, any questions about these four that we already talked about? Not too long, please, because we don't have time. Yeah. Okay. His question is, where do we put the big guy when we're forcing him to go over the top? Where do we put the big guy? I think you always have to put him on a distance where he is able to contest the penetration. Okay? We're talking about a spot-up shooter, Basile, or most of the spot-up shooters, they, when they know they're pressing them too much, they want to finish with layups because for them the hardest shot is this on the run this is the hardest shot so you have to make your big guy come in and defend the penetration okay no not switch not switch well, I mean, if he's a great player, okay, uh, what can do? What else we can do? Okay, you're good, very good, and he's very good, and he goes in and keeps the ball and plays with him and stop and goes. Then he's a great player. Then maybe you have to double him. He's not only a spot-up shooter. What you're saying? That's what you got to read. Okay. Good. Well, let's go with the two that I think they're most, and most of the teams play him now, because we all want to be aggressive, and we all want to disturb the offense. We all want to change the rhythm of the offense, okay? So we want, I want two defenders, two in offense. Let's play double team. Okay? Two defenders, uh, in offense, Blue, white, and two more big guys, you and Thomas. Okay? Regular pick and roll on the side. You send the screen, you defend in the pick and roll. You defend him. Pick and roll. And he's down there. Okay? Okay, so pick and roll. Double, double, <laughs> rotation. Okay, we're, in the moment that we see the double, we're going to need the rotation. And we know it, okay? Stay back there. Work on the double first. Because if we want to get everybody rotate, 
the guys who are going to rotate, they have to know that this pick is this pick is be good defense. We're going to defend good this pick. We're going to double it. Because if we want these guys to rotate, they have to know that man is going to be stopped somehow. Because if this guy beats them, double. Beats them, beats them, two guys are out of the defense. That was a good move, huh? <laughs> okay? Okay? They cannot get beat you. They cannot beat you. Okay? Good. In the two players? Go ahead. Double. Stop. Okay? We want to double. Good job. Good job. Hey, better the foul. Because if he gets beat that way, do it again. Do it again. Good job. Good job. Better the foul. Come on. Do it. Good. Let him go. Stop, 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 stop. Go between the middle, like you did. Let him go. Go slow. Go out. Go between the middle. Same thing. We're playing five guys against three. OK? So the first thing to play the double is these three guys that are here, ready to rotate and help you, they have to know that you two are stopping the ball. That guy cannot score. He has to go out. He has to read. He got to do whatever he wants, but he's getting pressure and he got to pass it. Okay? Why do we double before he starts the dribble? No, no, no. You double as soon as he puts it on the floor. Okay? Do it. Same rule. Good, good, good. Stop. Do it again. Good job. Move in. Come on. Again. 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 Go, go, good. Stop. Good. Ball. Jason, you're in offense over there. Uh, you're white. You're on defense. Okay? Same thing. They're doing the double pretty good. Okay? Not a lot of changes. He's doing his work. He's sending him to the pick and roll. He's putting pressure at top. He's not letting him get beat here. He's a big guy. He's making pass like this. Okay? Do it again. Let's go. Double in, double, 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 go, stop. Stop, 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 stop. Good. Do it again. More, more. As soon as he stops, you're in the middle, you run and get him. OK? Again. Go. Ahí, ahí, stop. Good. We're in control. We're in control. Okay, this guy is ready. He cannot beat you. This is one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, you got to be here on his. He's a shooter. You're here. You got to be here. You're between two. Okay? Do something. You're getting stopped. Try to do something. Try to score. Come on. Hard on him. Let's go. Don't foul him. Don't foul him. Good. Good. Stop. Great. First thing. He wanted to get beat. Perfect defense. Okay, again. Do it again. Go. Double. Double. So stop. Too late. Because now this is the problem. And this is what they want to do. He's smart. I'm telling him, hey, do something. OK, come. Slow. 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 If, if I can do this, what he was saying, distance, that will kill us. Because I want you to come. Come. Okay? With distance, for him, there is a lot of space for them. Okay? So, try to be closer, make him pass the ball. Okay? Good. That, that was a good, good job on offense. Good job on offense. Get close to him. Get close to him. Close to him. Good. 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 Stop. Stop. That's your ball. That's a steal. What are you doing here? Somebody go. Come out here. You don't think you will get to that ball? 
Let's go again. Play. Get up on him. Get up on him. Good. Good stop. Finally, they're not playing pick and roll. They're not playing a pick and roll. What they just did, it wasn't a pick and roll. And you don't have to rotate on that. Okay? Okay, switch it. You go to that side, you turn on, on that side. Jason, blue in offense. And Thomas, you're down. Thomas, you're up on the pick and roll. The same thing. Okay? What? You double team. Double team. Okay? Double team. Ready? Double team. Double team. Double team. Double team. Good. 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 Stop. Great. Again, same thing. Same thing. Jason. Pick and roll. Double. 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 Good. Good. Stop. Oh. Good. Perfect. This is, here is the mistake I was waiting on. Okay? Play the pick and roll. Stop. Who's your man? Him. You keep going after your man. No, 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 no. You keep going after your man. He's getting pressure. Okay. You're not worried about them. You're worried about your men. You keep going on them. Don't get steps back. You get steps up. Double. Okay? The defender of the ball has to attack his men. Attack his men. Forget about what is, hap is going to happen behind his back. Okay? Do it again. Ready? Ready? Receive. Play. Double. 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 Good. 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 Perfect. Stop. Okay, good job. Let's, let's switch. White on offense, blue on defense. Okay. Okay. Good. Thomas, you said in the pick and roll. You're up here. Get on this corner. Often, says it, often is not that stupid. Okay? So offense is not that stupid. They're going to try to do something to get away out of the pick and roll. Okay? And get advantage what they were working before on with the triangles. As soon as this guy gets the ball away, it's going to be an advantage. Okay? So we have to rotate. Now, okay? Rotate. Rotate. Okay? Shoot the ball if you're open. 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 Okay? Play. Double. Stop. Stop. A little bit earlier so you don't foul. Okay? Good job. Do the same thing in offense. Try to do the same thing in offense. Stop! Jason! What is this guy in the corner doing? He's not doing anything. He's in the corner. Forget it. The, the danger is right here. Do it again. Try to, try to go to the other side. Again. Stop! You want to double, okay? You want? Yeah, but you want to double. You want to double. Huh? I'm putting the example that is longer distance in purpose. Okay? You keep going after your men. Don't worry about what it happens. Okay? Come back when I told you, tell you. Do the same thing. Go, go, go. Stop. Hey, you. Oh. We didn't talk about that, that pick. You set the screen the same way. When I tell you to come back. When I tell you, come back. I went double. Do it again. Stop! That's one on one. That's one on one. That's not two on two. That's not a pick and roll. That's one on one. You're getting beat. You're getting beat. You're getting beat. Somehow you're getting beat. Good. Again, ball. Again, ball. Good. 
One and one. Stop. Good defense. Stop. Very good. Very good. Right now, they don't want to play the pick and roll. And it was another circumstance that it happened that I wanted to remark. Okay, when you play this on defense, they want to open you up, get your space, okay? Play this pick and roll, you know you're getting double, so do what you, you were doing. Okay? If he wants to go home, let him go home. Okay? If he's back, Two meters out here, you come back. There is no danger out here. Okay, do it again. Two meter, wait, two meter mark. If you have to come out of double two meter mark, then you'll have time to recover. Okay, pick over there. Here now. Good, good, stop. Why right now? If they don't want to play, perfect for us. They don't want to play. You don't want to play. You, no, 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 you do whatever you do. Do whatever you want now, okay? Do it again. Good, good. Jason, stop. Good job, sit down, good job, good job, good job, good job. Sit down. Okay, good. I think it's very important on this defense that we made these two guys on the, on the pick and roll defense understand they have to stop the guy with the ball. Stop the guy with the ball. Force him to try to create the space, to pass the ball. He needs to, we need to make him sure that he's not going to score. He's going to get double. If he wants to score, he got to beat him and him and then find somebody else. Okay? And for that, it's very important. Don't get beat on the side because we leave two guys on the defense out. Don't get beat through the middle, okay? And the big guy is important. Don't commit the foul with the body. The same thing. We want to double. We don't want to attack him. We want to double. We want him to see the double and get it away. If we're too aggressive, he's going to be smart and receive the foul, okay? The only thing that I was doing with the rotations, it will get more on on the next days, on the rotations, is I wanted to make everybody understand that we need the other guys for this defense. We need the rotations. We need the guys from the weak side. We need Jason, who forgot he was in the corner. We need him to get these two steps. We need the rest of the team. But we recover balls. We change the way they want to play offense. We are aggressive, okay? And of course, if we're playing against a great player, we're gonna, we have to defend that player. Of course, this is harder. It creates more space. Your defense has to cover more space. But at the same time, it's a defense where you, have con you can have control on the offense. You can have control on the offense. Okay? Good. Um, four one question, circle, sorry. Yeah, but do the rotation with the Yes. Well, okay. Okay. Telco is asking me about uh, what I said about Jason when he's double on the rotation of Jason if the rule is try to deny the pass or just contain, more or less is the question. Okay. We're talking about pick and roll right now. I think what is important is read this situation. If that is, there is a great shooter there and he's open, you have to cut this lane and get on him. If it's a big five, 220 guy who just pick and roll and try to go inside, with being here, you're okay, because he's not gonna shoot the ball from there. So, on the rotations, it's important, not only the rotation, read the rotations. What do you want out of the rotations? You want to, cut, the ball comes from that side, there is a skip pass to the corner, what do you want, you prefer? to stay in the middle 
or you want to cut that pass to the corner and make him drive again against your defense. But that's the step forward, okay? But it's a, it's a good question, of course. Okay, let's come back to this side. Four guys, two on offense, two on defense. Let's play push to the side. Clearly, we don't want the other team to go to the other side. Okay, you're on offense, you're on defense. Here and here, we have to work with a lot of pressure. And, of course, you don't want him to go that way. Okay, so you're keeping him on the side. Okay, you're keeping him on the side. You're giving him something. Of course, this guy with the ball, he got something. He got this lane. Okay, he's defending here, but he got this lane. But it's the lane that we want to give him. We want to keep him here. Okay, we're giving him this lane, but we want to give him this lane. Okay, good. Wait. Start down and we stop. Let's try to do it a little bit of motion, okay? Go. Good, good, good. Okay, stop. We'll talk about the rotations later. If somebody on defense from here cannot get that pass, they have done his job good. This is a steal for that guy. Okay? Do it again. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good. 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 One, one, one more ball. Do it again. Do it again. Go. Good. 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 Okay? Good. Okay, we know what we're getting. If we were doubling and playing two on two, this guy was going to be open, who was going to score. We need the rotations. We just saw it on this. We need the rotations. It is, it's the same way a little bit of doing the one on one, the two on the double, but sending him to the side and try to keep him on that side. Okay, do it again. Stop! Good. Right now we're okay. Position is more or less okay. He wants to set the he wants to set the screen to go to the other side. He's not letting him he's not letting him go because if he wants to go that way, he has to come all this way. What is good for us? Okay, so we're forcing here. Okay, good. Okay, wait, please wait. This. One of the biggest mistakes on this kind of defense, and let's say in Spain I see it a lot, Prigioni plays this a lot. If you guys watch Euroleague, and Prigioni plays like this, and he's very smart, touching ball, touch, touching passes, covering lanes, but he got no pressure on his men. He just defends them like this. He's not defending. Because he, the only thing he wants is giving, give the guys to split them. He's just go. He's ready to this and try to get this pass. We don't want that. We want this guy to defend. Okay? We want this guy to defend. So at the same time, you got to put pressure on him. Because if you leave him space, he's going to do to you what he just did. With the space, he's going to come here and or either shoot or pass. Okay? So I want a little bit of pressure. Okay? Do it. A little bit of pressure. Good. 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 Stop. Great job. Great job. He's, he's, he got pressure. He's not doing what he wants. He's on the, on the ones before he came here and shoot it. Now he's not easy for him. He's forced to go inside or to go to the side where we want him to send him. Okay, good. Now the other big question of this is, okay, he's doing a great job. Okay, great. Now is Thomas, huh? Now is Thomas defense. Because always the question is what is the distance between this guy and his defender? No? We all agree about this. We can tell this guy, okay. Force him in here, yeah, but this is distance is too much. If he's here. He got a lot of space, no? I will tell you what the distance is 
Of course, I would like to tell you meter and a half, but I can't say that. I think the most dangerous thing against this defense is this. He send them in here. This is the most dangerous thing. Because in the same way that we talked before about giving, leaving two guys behind, if this guy is smart, and instead of going this way, he comes here, then he's leaving two guys behind. Okay? So, I think the distance that Thomas has to have with his defender, it has to be enough to stop this penetration and make him go that way. Make him go that way. Okay. Sorry. Too enthusiastic. Okay. Try to do here and try to split it here. And Thomas, you better stop him. Okay. Receive it. Any? No, no, no. Do the do the regular pick. Okay. Go ahead. Good, good, good. And then come back. Perfect. Okay, good job, good job. Okay, I need a shooter here, a shooter here. Well, I know we don't have great shooters, but let's say you can shoot the ball. And defender. Okay, uh, blue on offense. Here. You're in the rotation now. And your rotation it has to be longer because that guy is going to step up to shoot, okay? Longer, okay? Go ahead. Pressure on him, send him side. Good, good, stop! What, what, pass is, what pass is easier for him? Go. Give him the ball in the corner. What pass is easier for him? No, 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 you were on the side. You were on. That or pass it over there. You can run to this. Okay, there's more people here, okay? Do it again. Do it again. More, 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 more. Good. Okay, great. Ball. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Wait. Jason in defense. Get in offense over there. In the corner. Jason, you're in the corner. Ball. Go. Good. Good. Re repeat it again. Do it again. Send him pick. Good. 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 Okay. 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 Do it again and stop. And stop. Okay. Set the pick and roll. Send him to the side. Good. Stop. You have to be more in the middle. Okay. If that skip pass is going that way, you can catch it. I think you can catch it. But if you don't catch it, swing it. I want you to cut this lane. I want against our people. Okay? No. Okay, good job. Good question. Good question. Go ahead. Pressure, good. 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 Okay, ball. Now you can. You got a good question, okay? Let's see the offense now. Control everybody. Control everybody. Good. 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 Stop. He asked me if he can cut. He asked me if he can cut. It's okay. If he cuts to the basket, I don't mind because I have big guys in the middle. Do it again. Just the same action. Okay? What's your name? Mitya. Mitya, okay, Mitya now is tired, so he's not working. He's, he's here. Okay, too soon. I understand. You're in the front, get pressure on him, and he's, you're over there, and he's between two. And he's telling me, can I cut? I don't mind if you cut, but because if he's watching the ball, he's going to be here to deny this pass. And the pass had to be over five guys, and, you can, and he's coming to you. Yeah, don't worry. Keep him here. He's going to get him. Okay? Do it again. Do whatever you want now. 
Okay, Jason, cut, cut, Jason to the corner. Mitya, Mitya, pick and roll. Side, stop, 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 stop. Okay, we got it. Mitya, we got it. We got it. Ready to pick, ready? Go, side, stop. Jason. Mitya. Good. Stop. Stop. Perfect. You came out like this. I want him to penetrate here where he got people. Okay? Again. Mitya. 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 Good. Okay. One more. Okay, Mitya, you have to keep him on the side. More. Okay? More. You were a little bit late. Okay? Switch teams. Blue in defense. Ready? Jason, who's your man? You got him? Okay, good. Send him side. Thomas, okay, good, 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 stop. Okay, 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 no problem. Listen, they're not beating us on the pick and roll now. They're beating us one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, they're beating us one-on-one. -on -one. Baseline, 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 baseline. Good, good, stop. This is great defense. Look where he is. If he wants to come here where we're sending him, Mitya wants to come here. What does he want? We want. He got 80, a lot of parts of his body can, cannot go nowhere. Okay? Good. Take a seat. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, for me, these two uh, defense of the, of the pick and roll that we did right now at the end are the two over, obviously more aggressive, obviously more aggressive, where you involve the whole team, where you involve the whole team, when everybody had to be ready to play defense, not only the guys of the pick and roll, the guys of the pick and roll, they have to do their job. But everybody else got to be ready to rotate and, and occupy, the, occupy the spaces where we're sending people. Okay? There are two defenses where we want to get advantage against the offense. Usually, offense gets advantage out of us. No. We want to get advantage against the, the offense. We want to attack the offense. Okay? And the last one that I'm talking about, I'm not going to be too... Oh, I got time. Uh, four guys, two in defense, two in offense. Let's talk about switching. What I think that on the last years, because the physical progression of every of every player, a lot of teams go to switches in the last seconds of possession. Why? Because normally when you take risk at the end of possession. Okay, they're going to get a shot or something. But at the end of possession, you want to control your man, every, um, control penetrations. They don't have time to read the, the mismatches. Let's say, let's get a pick and roll here. Quick, set the screen. Set the screen. Switch. Okay, you go with him. Let's say... If we got four seconds to go, then he has to come back and play inside, okay? Switches. But now, let's talk about the details on the switch. Because the easy thing is say, okay, you switch and you do what you can, okay? Switch. Play pick and roll and switch. Stop when I said so. 
Switch, switch. Okay, good. Stop. One more time. Ball. You set the screen. I don't mind. You're going to switch? Switch. Switch, stop. Good. Ball. Go over there. Set the screen. Switch again. Switch. Good. Ball. Beat him the other way. Beat him the other way. Receive. Pick and roll. Vamos. Switch. Switch. Good. Okay. Stop. There is some concepts that doesn't change. If this guy is ready to switch, set the pick and roll. Switch. And he's beating, he's getting beat this way, we're in trouble. Okay? We want them to play the pick and roll and we want to switch. Switch and make him work. Okay? Offense, defense. Play. Set the screen. Switch. Good. Ball. Again. Again. Pick and roll. Good. Ball. Ball. Again. Pick and roll. You pick. You picking. You picking. Okay. Pick. Okay. Good. Stop. What are we doing? I mean, in fact, what we're doing is we're controlling. We're not in a lot of risk. We're controlling our men. Usually, they're not going to get a shot out of the switch because usually on the switch, you're able to control the man with the ball. There is a big problem when they switch on the guy who's receiving the pick. Okay? Let's say this guy's receiving the pick. Okay? And you go in. It's very important you don't give him this lane on the switch. Okay? It's important you don't give him this lane. The work has to be, come in here, play, and try to keep him in front. Try to keep him in front, always. This is very important rule. Why? Because out of the switch, supposed to be no advantage. If we get this advantage, somehow they get a mismatch, you're already in front, and if you're able to get in front of him, cut his way to the basket, cut to the basket, then if he wants to post you, then he had to start working, and I can work too. But if he gets you quick in front of you, then you're late already. Okay, so I think it's very important on the switches that you always keep him in front of you. Okay, in front of you. Okay? Uh, okay, sit down, please. Like I said, switches or switch on the pick and roll, it creates you problems later. Of course, if, uh, if they switch a point guard and a five, we all gonna read it and the big guy is gonna go inside and then you have to involve more people okay i didn't talk too much about this on the switches i just wanted to make sure you understand that you can switch on the pick and roll we all know but it's important the detail of don't get it don't leave him advantages out of the pick and roll but when they split the pick and roll the pick and roll is finished if you switch you are obviously will have to do something Let's say you have a great penetrator here at the end of position or a great shooter with a big guy where he's going to go like this and shoot. So somehow you will probably have to respond after the switch. It's not a lot of teams who are able to switch every pick and roll and stay comfortable with that. Okay? Because you usually always get a, a, um, uh, a mismatch some, somewhere. Okay? Uh, well, that was about, that was almost everything that I prepared, but it was one thing the coach, uh, the Radic said about, not exactly pick and roll, but a lot of teams start playing handoff. And like he said, handoff is a pick and roll. It's almost a pick and roll. But it's not as easy because the guy with the ball, the guy with the ball, the guy who's running the, 
you're, you're open there. Usually the pick and roll is, he's with the ball, I'm setting the screen. Hand off, either like this, or, go, go back, or either like this, he's not with the ball. So, this guy, he cannot double team this, because he's going to split it. Uh, this guy, he cannot switch it because he's going to go inside against a big guy. So I think in what I do, I'm not going to go all over it, handoff is something that is very important that from the beginning you have a rule against the handoff. Because I speak to many coaches and we, you spend hours and hours talking about how to defend the pick and roll and then you ask, how about the handoff? Depends. Depends if, depends if handoff is something very hard to handle because the guy who is really creating is the guy with the ball who is going to the pick. Okay? I won't go farther on the handoff, but I think it's important that maybe in the future it will, it will be more important in the game. Finally, I only explain, I only explain the way you, you can defend the pickle roll. Different ways of defending the pickle roll. How to defend between just two guys, defend involving the rest of the team. You want to be more aggressive, you want to be more conservative, you want to uh, stop a spot up shooter, you want the guy uh, who is a great penetrator to go in. Uh, to keep him outside, make him shoot the ball, all those little things. But it all depends on you as a coach. What do you want out of, the, out of your team? What is your philosophy? You want to be aggressive or you're a team who really got big guys and you want to be, you know, you want to send the, big, the, the guys to your big guys? It's not that my, uh, let's say I double and I'm great because I'm double. No. You have to have your team. You have to have your team. And you have to try to make the best thing for your team. Okay? What your players can do, what your players cannot do. With Fuchka and Duenas, he didn't make Duenas double here. He was, his defense was do, I got Duenas, what Duenas is able to do, let's help the team with what Duenas is going to do. If I make Duenas come out here, that would be stupid. If you, got, if you have a team with maybe five guys the same side, maybe it's good you can switch everything. So it's very important when you make your own philosophy, think what is going to be more effective for your team, okay? It's very important you define how do you want to play the side pick and roll and the middle pick and roll. Where do you want to force people, okay? Do you, do you mind maybe it's an entry like horns? Horns have finishing being an, an entry. Teams play horns, just, okay, horns, boom. And after horns, they play. What do you want to do with that pick and roll? You want to attack it from the beginning? You want to double it? Be aggressive? Maybe create a, something on the other side that you can steal the ball? Or you don't mind? Play the horns, okay, you start the horns. I contend, I, I defend that part, and we'll see what happens less, later. The way of the pick and roll, that's important too. That's important too. Some of the pick and rolls now, and they were saying they were to the middle, but how about if it's to the side? Do we have the same philosophy or we're going to change it every year or we're every day? This pick, it might help us on our, on our philosophy. We see a lot of teams who are playing picks like this 
Why? Probably because a lot of teams, they want to send you here. So now basketball keeps going on and on, and you think situations in offense can help you against good defenses. That's got to make you think about your philosophy on defense. What do you want to do? Okay? And finally, I see 12.15, so I'm going to say my last words. Finally, it's very important that you understand and you know all the, all the manners to defend the pick and roll. But it's very difficult for players that they know all the manners of defend the pick and rolls. And I'm going to put you an example. One day I was having coffee in, in Barcelona, in Siches, with two more coaches of Spain and this famous coach from Piro, this guy called Pesic. And we were talking about defending uh, baseline exit. And we were having coffee, good time, good weather. And uh, we were saying, how do you defend baseline exit? And one of the, our colleagues, were, he was like, Dependent. Depends. If he is a shooter, I want to trail him, make him drive, blah, blah, blah. Depends, because if he is a very good penetrator, maybe I'll go behind and dependent. Maybe if I have a big guy, they shoot. And here our master say, Coach, I have a big problem. Too much dependent. Is it true? Too much dependent. If you depend too much on your offense, then it's you don't believe on your defense. Okay? Thank you.